In this video, you will see the recipe of smooth and creamy strawberry ice cream. I have made this ice cream with fresh strawberries. The strawberry chunks in the ice cream make it so delightful and yummy that you must try making this ice cream at home. I have made it without using any ice cream machine and have not added any CMC or JMS powder. Also, there is no cooking involved. I have shared lots of tips which will help you to make perfect ice cream at home same as what we get in the ice cream parlors. You can make it for kitty parties or for birthday parties a day in advance. So without wasting much time, let's get started with the recipe. To make the strawberry ice cream, I have taken large size 10 strawberries. I have washed and dried them too and with the magic of video, I have finally chopped them too. To these strawberries, I am adding 1 fourth cup of sugar as some strawberries may be sour to taste. I will mix the sugar well. The acidity from the strawberries will help to melt the sugar. Before proceeding further, I will keep aside a few spoonfuls which I will use later on. You will also notice that after adding the sugar, the color of the strawberries becomes more bright. I will keep these strawberries aside and then take a mixer jar. All you have to do is add the sugar added strawberries to the jar along with half cup of fresh cream and grind them to a pulp. I am using market brought fresh cream. You can use the malai formed on top of boiled and cooled milk too. I have not added any color as of yet. This is the natural color of the strawberries. I will keep this pulp aside and in a large mixing bowl take 1 cup of non-dairy whipping cream which is easily available in the market nowadays. My son has requested me to make lots of ice cream so I am adding half cup more of the whipping cream. The quantity looks less now but after whipping it will become triple in volume and you will get approximately 12 to 15 scoops of ice cream. The cream is just fluffy and not stiff. I will stop whisking as we need to add many ingredients to it. If you over whisk the cream, it will become dry and curdled. Though the whipped cream is sweetened, I am adding half cup of condensed milk and I will whisk the cream to mix it well. Avoid using powdered sugar as the condensed milk will add to the creamy texture. To get a wonderful strawberry aroma, I am adding half teaspoon of strawberry essence and I will request you to not skip it. Then I will add the pureed strawberries with cream and mix it well. You can see that the ice cream has not got a pink color like the store bought ice cream. So I will add a few drops of pink liquid color. After adding the essence, the ice cream is smelling so wonderful. And now the color is making it look so tempting. Adding color is optional but I wanted to show that the pink color is not got through the strawberries. Lastly, I'll add the chopped strawberries kept aside and I'll mix it lightly with the spatula. These chunks will freeze and taste absolutely divine like the natural size cream. Note the consistency of the cream here. I have not over whipped it. I will transfer it to a glass dish in which I leave it to set overnight. To avoid the formation of ice crystals, I will cover it with aluminium foil and then put it in the freezer overnight. The remaining cream I have put in the mold which I had used to make the choco bombs, remember? So you can use any mold or tray available at home. As I used this mold for the first time, I was very happy to see that the ice cream got demolded very easily and it looked very appealing. I will put this in the freezer overnight. The strawberry ice cream has set well. I will first demold the silicone mold and show you. See how easily you can demold it. Simply invert the mold in a plate and push the ice cream with your thumb. You don't need an ice cream scooper. It's so simple. Isn't this looking so wonderful and tempting? Next, I'll show you the ice cream set in the glass dish. After taking out from the freezer, leave it at room temperature for just 5 minutes and then scoop out as many scoops you want. I just can't wait to taste it. It has a wonderful strawberry aroma. Also, you can see that the ice cream stays creamy and does not start melting and become runny. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Do try this recipe and I'm sure you will make it again and again. Before the video ends, do subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos. I'll just place some fresh strawberries on these and it looks so tempting. 
do try this recipe and enjoy the ice cream in these summers see you soon with a new video till then take care bye bye